All right, I want to work on a problem from, it's problem 22 from the uh, section 1 through, uh, 1, 1 through 1, 4 homework. I want to solve this problem. It's a rational equation. It's got a bunch of rational expressions. And as we, I mentioned last time, what you to simplify these things, uh, rather than trying to add fractions and work with the fractions here, the best thing to do is to make the bad man go away. Get rid of the fractions by multiplying top and bottom by the lowest common denominator. And in this case, your denominator of each of these contains, if I wanted I, I want to find the greatest common factor of all of these denominators. My lowest common denominator, I start with, I need an x minus 4. I also need an x. And over here, I already have an x and x minus 4. So that's all I need. That's my lowest common denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides by the lowest common denominator. If I look at that, let me just write that out so you can see what that looks like. So that looks like x, using the distributive property, is x minus 4 times this term, 11 times x minus 3 over x minus 4. And then my lowest common denominator times here is x times x minus 4. 13 over x. And then here I've got negative 13 over x times x minus 4. Again, times x times x minus 4. Now, before I do any canceling, I need to note some what we call domain restrictions or, or x values that aren't allowed to solve the equation. We're not allowed to divide by 0 in our original equation. So we need to note that x can't be 0, and x minus 4 can't be 0, which means x can't be 4. If when we solve this thing, we end up with a 0 or 4, those aren't really solutions, because that would make our original equation undefined. So once we've noted the domain restrictions, we can now cancel, um, cancel out terms that are in the numerator and denominator in order to simplify these rational expressions. All right, so in this first part of my expression, I've got an x minus 4 in the, in the numerator and the denominator. So I can simplify and cancel those out. This becomes 11x times x minus 3. All right, this, my x's cancel, and this becomes x minus 4 times 13. And over here, both the numerator and the denominator cancel, cancel, and I'm just left with negative 13. Now I need to simplify, collect all of my terms on one side, and have a zero on the other, and then hopefully I can solve by factoring, either using the AC method or some other method. So at this point, let's use the distributive property. 11x times x is 11x squared. 11x times negative 3 is negative 33x. Here, I've got three, 13 times x. So this is plus 13 times x. And then this is going to be minus 4 times 13. So 4 times 10 is 40. That's going to be 52, right? Negative 52, number of cards in a deck. And then again, that's equal to negative 13. And now to get all of my stuff on one side, I'm also going to want to combine these two terms in the middle. I'm going to add 13 to both sides. Okay. Here, I've got 11x squared. Combining these two terms, negative 33 plus 13 is minus 20x. And then this here is uh, 52 minus uh, 13, so that's going to be minus 39. Minus 39 equals 0. Okay, this is where it gets nice and interesting here. We need to factor by grouping. Um, so what we're looking at when we look at the AC method is A equals 11, B equals negative 20, and C equals 
negative 39. 11's prime, 39 is 3 times uh, 13. Those are, that's the prime factorization of 39. So AC, I'm just going to write it as 11 times negative 39. I'm not going to write it out. I'll write it out as its factors, which is 11 times 3 times 13. Um, but what I'm looking for, interestingly enough, I probably shouldn't have squished these two together. It looks like, um, if I think about it, eh, this is going to be a little different. Uh, looking at this problem right here, uh, should be a negative sign. I need a negative one in here. One of these is going to be positive or negative. So AC is negative 1 times 3 times 13 times 11. B is negative 20. So what I'm looking for is factors, the product of the factors must be AC. Okay, it's going to be a factor of one of these. But I want the sum to be B which is going to be negative 20. So I want the larger one of these, and it looks like if I take negative 33 and 13, that'll work. So if I say negative 33 times 13, that's going to equal AC. And then here, yep. Um, the sum is, doo -doo, let me work with this here, negative 33 plus 13 is negative 20. So yes, my original, before I combine these two together, if I had left them uncombined, I would have been in a better, better position um, to factor this thing by grouping. Uh, didn't see that earlier, but we're going to re-split this thing back up in the middle. We're going to use this information right here to split my middle term back up into those two. So it's going to be 11x squared minus 33x plus 13x. And then this last term is minus 39 equal to 0. At this point, I can factor out an 11 here, 11. And this is going to be x. Sorry, I can factor out an 11x. And that leaves me with x minus 3 here, and here I can factor out a 13. This is plus 13, and this is going to be x minus 3. That equals 0. And then finally, I factor out the term in parentheses, x minus 3, and I get 11x plus 13 times x minus 3 equals 0. At this point, we can solve two linear equations using the zero product property, 11x plus 13 equals zero, or x minus 3 equals zero. That gives us x is equal to negative 13 over 11, or x is equal to 3. Neither of these answers is in our restrictions. These are our domain restrictions. Neither of these are in the domain restrictions. So they should solve the original equation. Um, I leave it to you to go back and plug those into the original equation and verify that the answer works out. Like when you plug in the 3 here, this term is going to be 0. So that whole thing will go away. And you'll end up with 13 thirds over um, this will be negative 13. 3 minus 4 is negative 1, so the negatives cancel, which will be 13 thirds. So 3 certainly works. Negative 13 over 11 is going to be a little harder for the arithmetic. You could use a calculator or other things to simplify that.